The title of his speech is The Hidden Leadership Tool. One of the goals of Toastmasters is the development of leaders. I'm sure most of us are familiar with the qualities of a leader, such as passion, character, and vision. But his speech is about a hidden leadership tool we all have but are overlooking. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Rich Politiski. Good evening. By a show of hands, how many people in here want to be a leader? Outstanding. Do you guys know that inside of each of you right now, there's a tool that will make you a more effective and dominant leader? What is that hidden leadership tool? Can I get a drum roll, please? Testosterone. <laughs> In June 2006, my alma mater, the University of California at Davis, they conducted a research study on the characteristics of an effective leader. They found that over 95% of the CEOs and the leaders of the Fortune 500 companies all had higher levels of testosterone compared to lower levels of cortisol. And the, the results were gender neutral. So by having a high level of testosterone and a low level of the stress hormone cortisol, you will be a more effective leader because you will be more calm and composed in a crisis. You will have much more energy throughout the day and you'll be more assertive, dominant, and confident. This evening, I will share with you three ways to increase your testosterone. Then at the end of my speech, I will show you a simple pose that will immediately increase your testosterone level by 20%. The first way is supplementation. By taking specific vitamins, vitamin D, zinc, and vitamin C, you can naturally increase your testosterone level. In a perfect world, we would all get enough vitamin D through our daily exposure to the sun. But of course, we don't live in a perfect world. We have families, full-time jobs, and the risk of skin cancer. And it makes the majority of Americans deficient in vitamin D. Fortunately, studies have shown that vitamin D supplementation can increase your testosterone. Personally, I take 10,000 IU of vitamin D every day. Next, you need to get more zinc. Studies have shown that zinc supplementation can also increase your testosterone. Zinc prevents the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Pumpkin seeds are an excellent all-natural source of zinc. In addition to pumpkin seeds, I take 50 to 100 milligrams of zinc every night. And Clint, you asked, why do I take it at night? Thank you. I take it at night because testosterone is mainly produced at the nighttime. So it serves purpose that if you want to increase your testosterone, simply get more sleep. If you have a hard time avoiding stress, you want to start taking really high doses of vitamin C, 1,000 to up to even 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C. When your body gets stressed out, it releases a nasty hormone called cortisol. Cortisol does several bad things to your body weight gain, fatigue, to name a few. But did you know that it also shuts down your testosterone production? <clears throat> Recent studies have shown that by taking high doses of vitamin C, and we're talking up to 5,000 milligrams, you could lower your cortisol level, thus allowing your body to make more testosterone. The second way to increase your testosterone is through weight training. Any simple lifting of the weights will do at the gym. Curls, pull downs, and push-ups. But if you're like me, and you wanna maximize your testosterone, you wanna start lifting heavy weights, at low repetitions. 
and you should focus on compound lifts. What are the compound lifts? Bench press, squats, and deadlifts. HIIT training has also been shown to increase testosterone. HIIT stands for high intensity interval training. Exercises like sprints that require an explosion of power in a short duration of time can also stimulate your test level. The third way to increase your testosterone is through your diet, through nutrition. There are several foods out there that will do the trick. Usually cholesterol is considered a bad thing because it has a tendency to cause plaque buildup in the arteries and all. But did you know? Cholesterol is an excellent source of testosterone. Two foods that have a very high level of cholesterol are red meat and eggs, specifically the yolks. For the yolks of the egg, I eat about at least 10 eggs a day. But in the morning, five days a week before I work out, I do my best imitation of Rocky, Rocky Balboa, because I do take three <coughs> eggs, I've only got salmonella once, and I crack them just like this into a glass and I drink it. <sighs> Bottom line, don't shy away from the fats. Eat more healthy fats. Nuts, avocados, coconut oil, and my favorite, it's not tequila. <laughs> Olive oil, three tablespoons a day. Finally, what is that simple pose that will increase your testosterone level? A social psychologist by the name of Amy Cuddy, you've probably seen her in TED Talks. Well, she proved that maintaining a two-minute power pose can increase your testosterone level by 20% and also lower your cortisol level by 20% as well. These results were also gender neutral. So let's give it a try. Everyone, please stand. And I'm going to give you a scenario. You're about to give a speech at Toastmasters. Uh-oh, you start to get nervous. <laughs> 